What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Empire IX Exponential Growth Tracker. Before we dive into the spreadsheet itself, let me show you how to access your copy of this resource. To get your copy of the Empire IX Exponential Growth Tracker, you first need to log into the XLife platform, come over to the left-hand menu and click Channels, then scroll down till you see Empire IX. Go ahead and click Empire IX and open up the channel. Once you are in the Empire IX X Core channel, you can scroll down to the pin message and download the Getting Started document from here, or you can go to the menu and click Documents. Once you're on the Documents page, scroll down to the Getting Started with Empire IX folder. Then you want to select the Getting Started with Empire IX PDF. Once you click that, you'll go ahead and see a preview of the Getting Started document. Then you want to scroll down to where it says Download and download your copy. Once you have downloaded the Getting Started with Empire IX document, you then want to open it up and scroll down to the very last page until you see additional resources. From there, you want to go ahead and select the Exponential Growth Tracker button and open it up. It will then ask you to make a copy of your Empire IX Exponential Growth Tracker, which you need to do in order to edit yours and make it your own. If you are accessing this template from a mobile device, you will first need to go to File and then Make a Copy in order to have access to edit your own template. So let's go ahead and select make a copy in order to have our own version of the Empire IX Exponential Growth Tracker. And here you have your copy of your Empire IX Exponential Growth Tracker. We are now going to walk through how to use this to be able to track your percentage goals and how to calculate proper risk. The first part of your tracker is going to be the actual Exponential Growth Tracker or compound sheet. As you can see, in the middle of the spreadsheet, you have written instructions on how to use your compound sheet, how to use the risk calculator, and even a link to this video on how to use the entire spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and dive in and go over how to use your tracker. As you can see here, this tracker is a simple spreadsheet designed to help you track your account growth over time based on a weekly percent goal. By using this tracker correctly, you will be able to see your account growth week after week for a full year. To get started, the first thing you want to do is enter your initial deposit. This tracker can be used for a live trading account or even a demo. For this example, let's say you open an account with $1,000. Once you have put in your initial deposit, you then want to go down to weekly growth percent goal and enter how much you want to grow your account per week. A good weekly growth percent goal that I would recommend is roughly about 3 to 5% per week. So let's go ahead and say we want to grow our account by 3% each week. Once you have entered both your initial deposit and your weekly growth percent goal, you will then see a few columns have changed. We can see that our current balance has been updated here in the third column at $1,000. Our goal balance at the end of the week has been changed to $1,030. This number is calculated based on your current balance times your weekly growth percent goal. So $1,000 grown by 3% would give you $1,030. Moving to the next column, you'll see ideal balance after week and you can see that all of these values have been filled in automatically. The reason why is because this is going to be what you want to shoot for each and every week. And if you stayed on track by growing your account by exactly 3% each week, this is what you want to be shooting for. So for example, if you started with a $1,000 account and you grew that by 3%, after week one, you'd want to be at $1,030. After week two, if you grew that $1,030 by another 3%, you would then be at $1,060.90. After week three, if you grew that account by another 3%, you'd be at $1,092.73. And you can see that continues down all the way down for one full year, resulting in a total of $4,650.89 if you were to grow your $1,000 account by exactly 3% each week for a full year. So this column shows you the full dollar amount of where you want to be after each week to continue to stay on track of your goals. Now that our tracker is set up, let's go ahead and use this in regards to our trading account. So again, let's say for this example, we start the week with $1,000 in our trading account. Once you have gone through the full trading week, on the weekend, you want to come here and update this tracker and enter your actual balance after that first week. So let's say last week, you took a few good trades and your account actually grew from $1,000 to $1,040 US dollars. You want to come to the next available actual balance column and type that in. So $1,040. As you can see, as we enter that in the actual balance column, a few of the other columns have been updated. 
The first one being the column to the right labeled actual growth percent. We see that it says 4% here because our account has grown by 4% in the last week. That is calculated by the difference between our actual balance at the end of the week and our current balance at the beginning of the week. And we can see that this 4% is highlighted green because we have achieved or exceeded our weekly goal of 3%. So whenever you achieve or exceed your weekly growth percent goal, the tracker will turn green showing that you have meted or exceeded your weekly goal. The next column that also updated was the next cell in the current balance column. We can see that our current balance is now $1,040 and it's ready for the next week. We can also see that our goal balance at the end of the week is now $1,071.20. Again, this value is calculated based on our current balance times our weekly growth percent goal. So if we grow our account of $1,040 by exactly 3%, we will then have $1,071.20. Now you can see that this balance is different from the balance over here in the ideal balance after week. The reason why is because this ideal balance column is calculated based on if you grew your account by exactly 3% each week. This is the minimum balance you want to be shooting for each and every week in order to achieve your long-term goals. So once again, this may be different from the goal balance column because this value is calculated based on 3% growth of your current balance to start the week. Some weeks you may grow your account by more than your weekly growth percent goal, and some weeks you may grow it by less than your weekly percent goal. So the values in this column will always be calculated based on your weekly growth percent goal times your current balance. So to continue, let's say we go through another week of trading, and this week we don't do as good as we did last week. Let's say we still profit, but our actual balance only grows from $1,040 to about $1,050. As you can see, the columns update again, and the actual growth percent that we had from last week to this week was only 0.96%. This column is now highlighted red because even though we profited, our goal was 3%, so we did not achieve or exceed this goal. We can then see again that our current balance was updated to $1,050, and now our goal balance at the end of the week is $1,081.50 to grow our current balance based on our weekly growth percent goal. So once again, 3% growth on a $1,050 account would be $1,081.50. So let's say we go through another week of trading, and this time at the end of the week, we have $1,100. We can see that this was about a 4.76% account growth from our balance at the beginning of the week, which was $1,050. So now our current balance is at $1,100. Our goal balance at the end of the next week should be around $1,133. And our ideal balance, again, is around $1,125.51. So let's go ahead and go through one more week. And let's say at the end of that week, we have an actual balance of $1,128. US You can see that this is only a 2.55% account growth from our previous balance of $1,100. So it does turn red because we did not achieve our weekly growth percent goal of 3%. Now, what we can do is we can come down to this next section called four-week checkpoint. This is simply a checkpoint that we threw in this tracker to help you see your account growth after roughly about one month. We can see that in this example, after four weeks, our account grew from $1,000 to $1,128. Now, what we can do is we can compare this value to the ideal balance column. And you can see that the ideal balance that we wanted to achieve of growing our $1,000 account size by 3% each week after four weeks, we would want at least $1,125.51. You can see that we exceeded that by a few dollars, and you can see that our actual growth percent is about 12.8% after four weeks. This value is highlighted green because we have achieved or exceeded the ideal balance that we were shooting for after four weeks. So this means we are on track to achieve or exceed our long-term goals. And so you can see by simply coming here and updating your actual balance after every single week, you can see your account growth over time and help you organize your long-term goals by breaking them down in a week-by-week -week format. You can see that in addition to this tracker here, if we scroll down and go to the right, we can see a graph labeled account growth per week. This graph is automatically updated week after week when you enter your actual balance and you can see the trend of your account growth over time. In addition to this graph, you can also see the total amount your account has grown since the beginning of your initial deposit. In this example, we have grown our account by 12.8%.
So once again, this is how you use your exponential growth tracker or compound sheet to track your weekly percent goals and your long-term goals. And finally, in addition to this tracker, we also have a risk calculator built into the spreadsheet. This risk calculator will help you calculate the correct lot size that you should use in the next trade using proper risk. So to get started, we want to come to this first column and determine how much percent of our account we want to risk per trade. We here at MPRX recommend 1% risk of your account per trade. So let's go ahead and enter 1. This means that for every trade that we take, we want to risk only 1% of our current account size. So moving on to the next column, we want to enter our current account size. Let's say that we start with $1,000. So our current account size is $1,000. And on the very next trade, we want to risk 1% of that account size. So we are going to be risking only $10 on the very next trade. And we can see that that value is updated here in this column. So once we have this information filled out, we want to come to the next column. And let's say, for example, we have a nice buy setup on EURUSD with a 10 pip stop loss. So what we want to do is we want to come here and we want to put in the number 10 for the amount of pips we have in our stop loss. Once we enter that, you will see that the column to the right labeled lot size will give us the recommended lot size to use in order to use proper risk. In this example, we should use a 0 0.10 lot size or a mini in order to only risk 1% of our current account size. Let's say, for example, that our stop loss wasn't 10 pips, but it was 15 pips. You can see that the lot size we should use is now a 0 0.06 in order to risk only 1% of our current account size. But let's say instead of 15 pips, our stop loss was actually 23.6 pips. Now we should only use a 0 0.04, again, to only risk 1% of our current account size. So each time you have a new trade setup, you can come to this risk calculator and update your information to get the proper lot size that you should use in order to risk the correct amount. Let's try another example of where our account size is not $1,000, but let's say it's $2,356.89. Once we enter that, we are still risking only 1% of our account, which comes out to $23.57 in dollar amount. This is 1% of our current account size. Let's pretend that our stop loss remains at 23.6 pips on the very next trade setup, and we see that the recommended lot size that we should use on this next trade setup is a 0 0.09 in order to use proper risk. So you can see by using this risk calculator, you can calculate the exact lot size that you need to use proper risk based on your current account size. So for each trade that you're about to take, feel free to come here, use your calculator, update your current account size and the stop loss on the very next trade setup and get the correct loss size that you need to risk properly. So once again, guys, that is your Empire IX exponential growth tracker designed to help you track your account growth over time and also help you calculate proper risk. I hope this helps you on your trading journey. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next time.